All right, guys, just got out of eighth grade, Bo Burnham's new film written and directed by Bo Burnham. And I'm not gonna talk first, because I we, we all have a lot to say about this movie, and this might be a longer video, so I'll let Mike. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna say is, this movie is fantastic. I'm gonna, I mean, we're waiting for the number grade at the end, but um, the biggest thing I can appreciate of this is that every movie made about teenagers now usually takes one, uh, usually takes a stance of, we're just not going to talk about technology in this world, or we're going to talk about it and be like, oh, look how dumb these kids are on their phone all the time. And this had a little bit of both. It's like, yes, she makes these videos and she's kind of being embarrassing, and it's like, no one's Spoiler really... alerts from now. We can't That's talk about this movie without spoilers. Yeah. Um, and she makes the videos kind of embarrassing, but like, it, it never like looks down upon these kids for using Snapchat, using Instagram, using... Like, yes, yeah, she makes these videos that are embarrassing, but they're her vessel of communicating. This is her diary. You know what I mean? It's that's, not... That's the thing that I want to start. Now, this movie starts off with a young kid uh, with a YouTube channel with almost no views, and if that isn't a punch to the gut to all three of us <laughs> to start off this movie, I don't know what it... Like, I don't know. I don't think I've ever mentioned this in a... I've been making YouTube videos since I was 10 years old uh, through different channels. Well. Some of them I've deleted. Well, I, I've deleted Some, all my channels before this one. Uh, there's one channel out there that has, like, 90 videos, and I don't know the password to get back into it. It's, like, eighth grade... It's, like, fourth grade through eighth grade, and it's... Ugh. I, some people know what it is, but I don't... Yeah, I, I won't... I won't ramble on. Jovan? Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, me too. Eighth grade, every... It's... it's. I don't want to... It's not perfect. Nothing's perfect. Yes. But it was just the definition of fluidity. Like, the dialogue wasn't forced or stressed mm -hmm. or anything. The technology wasn't... Gaudy. Yeah, the technology wasn't, like, overwhelming or uncomfortable or anything. Like it's kind uh, of it was accurate. It, it was yeah, very the dynamic, accurate. The dynamic between parents and children was, and friends and children was just spot on. It's it's a movie that if you are in middle school, going into high school, or you have kids who are or you, you recently need to take experienced them to see it, this. Yeah. Yes. Because yes. it is about as accurate as I've ever seen it get, especially for this like for the times that we're in right now. Right. Yeah, no, like, I grew up, like, I mean, I didn't have um, exactly everything they, they were talking about in 8th yeah. grade. Mm -hmm. Like, I didn't have a Snapchat till freshman, we were uh, obviously, freshman sophomore year. We were obviously in different boats than, than Kayla, well, the main well, character. Well, yeah, but, like, just in, in the broader term of having technology. Everyone experiences, having, like, yeah. um, here, well, I'll talk. Uh, so, I loved this movie. With that being said, I am struggling to give it a good review. Now, what I mean by that, what the fuck? What I mean by that <laughs> is this movie is not, I've not never bad. I've never seen these emotions tackled in a movie before. I've never seen these scenarios tackled so real, like s realistically. And I have no idea why the fuck Bo Burnham knows how much shit like that goes on in like modern middle school. Oh, he's a genius. But like, I don't know how he figured it out because there was like stuff and I was like, how does Bo Burnham know that? Yeah. Um, uh, spoilers, the scene where she, oh, fuck, mm -hmm. um, does, does she, <laughs> does she get, would you say, a guy tries to make advances on her. Sexually, a, sexual assault, um, an Perhaps older man, an older, yes, an older high school student tries to make, to yes, assault. yes, it doesn't we, go that far, but there was a, trying to make moves on her, and obviously, like, I've never we had, know people. Yeah, that's happened. yeah, but that that's that's the beauty of it, and that's why I'm talking about like being realistic because th it actually happens in that exactly. way. It's not. Um, they it's don't as ludicrous. It, they don't it doesn't happen. As ludicrous would say, it's so imperfectly perfect. He's quote all around the world by Justin Bieber. <laughs> <laughs> my only, my only complaint of this entire movie, and it's very small. And it's only like layering thing. And I said it to Jovan during the movie. Perhaps he did. Um, in the scene in the cafeteria. In the mall, the mall cafeteria. Yeah, the food court. Food court, yeah. <laughs> um, there is a guy in that scene, not the one who makes sexual assaults, but the other guy. The I don't. I that don't was know me. How to say his name. That was me in high school. Look like you. When they're oh, like, shut the fuck up, and I'm yeah. But they keep. I feel like the movie was painting him like he was an asshole. He's just a and dude. it was trying to, but like, it's like the thing he was saying about generational gaps. He has a point. Is true. Yeah. So. But. 
in, in this in the same in the same like mindset, there are people like that who make good points but come off as total dicks. Yeah, in the I just I feel I feel like the, the thing about the dead kid, he had a point. <laughs> the opening conversation. Yes. I feel like I feel like the movie tried to push. This is my only complaint, like the only glaring complaint about the I have, movie. I have a complaint. Is that specific scene? Is that I feel like it's trying to push him as an asshole, and he's not really being an asshole. So I feel like if you wanted to make that conversation more uncomfortable, like I felt like when the people were yelling at him, being like, "Yo, stop!" I'm like, that isn't really justified. Like he yeah. isn't doing anything that's warrant being yelled at. You know. Mm-hmm. My complaint was there's a scene early on where a kid gets called to the front of the classroom and there's a shot of his feet. He's wearing slides. Ain't no oh, high school Christ. in America is going to let you fucking wear slides. Spread and high. Spread and high does. Don't half, half. Oh, we just revealed where we live. Oh, no. <laughs> Ooh, can you censor this? Can you believe it? It doesn't matter. We mentioned the general vicinity of where we live. I'm moving in a month anyway. I live matter. four hours away. I live, yeah. I, I'm, I'm still here. That's how far the nearest we don't movie even theater know is from my dorm. But, um, Just kidding. But anyways, um, we know that, uh, we know that, like, you know, ki- kids, kids are like that. Um, and I'm very happy. What I saw happening was... Um, I saw her getting with that guy and her trying to force her to do something. But it was kind of cool that it was an unexpected person because that's a little bit diversion of expectations. Mm-hmm. Um, I would like to make a, one little comment about someone else who made a YouTube video about this. Um, about your movie sucks. Made a, made a YouTube video. Fuck and that criticized the movie. And Chris, uh, kind of criticized the movie for not stopping at a specific point. I'm like, what point is he talking about? Like, he's like, there's a point in the movie where it feels like it could end and it goes on for like another 10 minutes. What was, was he talking about? Wasn't it? No, I think it was. The I, th- I mean, he, I, I think I, thought I think it was, it was the final video. I think it was the final video that she made. She says goodbye, guys, and she ends it. And I'm like, and I feel like that's what he was per- saying as this is the, this could have been the end to this movie. That would have been fucking awful. Yeah, <laughs> there would have been no closure. You can end a movie and be sad. Yeah, but that would have had no closure. Um, okay, it's but, like Lady Bird. It just ends. Exactly. This movie. Okay. So I, I I told this to them, but um, I will just be honest with you guys. I was very prepared to give this a very harsh review uh, because celebrity the way written movies are cele- rough. celebrity written movies are rough. But I had a very specific idea in mind of what this movie was going to be like, and it was going to be like Lady Bird, and it was to an extent. Um, it captures. Um, I don't want to say something really. M- yeah, I don't want to say something mean about the character of Kayla. It captures the art ho to it. Right. Not to say that Kayla, the character of Kayla is an art ho. Like Lady Bird is an art ho. Right, Kayla just has those vibes. Like she's gonna be a future art ho. We know someone who's like. Like we don't have to name drop her, but we know someone who's like that. We all, everyone does. I yeah. feel like. Um, I, did, I said we don't have to name drop her like I was referring to a specific person, but we just know someone who's like that. I'm just... Okay, so what I... I have to get to say this before we do anything else. Elsie Fisher. Fucking phenomenal. Oh, absolutely I have fantastic. never seen a... A child actor that A good. child actor it, that is that good. Ballsy for Bo Burnham to go out and direct and, a movie with yes. almost all Ballsy for Bo Burnham to go, to go out and do this, because a lot of it's so uncomfortable. Yeah, I oh, want to no, commend like, them on avoiding an ass shot in the most creative way possible. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, I was like, it, I was like, crawled up, cringing in my seat. Half the there time. was a point that in this movie during in like the, the the um, the the sexual pressuring scene where everyone was just completely silent in the audience, and I went stop, and like everyone laughed. Yeah. It was like that Deep part of, like, of Cars what... Two where Joe Vaughn was eating beans and spilt them on himself. I, I didn't see Cars Two. Oh. <laughs> I see it with you. Wait. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway. Bring beans. Okay. But but something I need to <laughs> something that. I need to talk about. No, I know. Something I need to talk about is that um in every review everyone's been talking about Elsie Fisher, which you know, more did she's fantastic. Not nearly enough people have been talking about Josh Hamilton. Oh. He's fantastic. Oh, phenomenal. Uh, I don't have a dad, but if I did it'd be Josh Hamilton. Um, he was fantastic. Or Josh Burr. Josh Burr. But um sh- but like uh, and he was he was pretty good throughout the movie. And like, you know, he, he's played for comedy for most of the first and second act. Um I mean, a little bit of serious, but like, like it feels real. But it feels like he feels like a real dad. But then that campfire scene that goes on for like five minutes. The campfire song, song. Yeah, yeah. the campfire scene that goes on for like five minutes. Um, felt like it could have been so cheesy and so like, 
I like you just the way you are. And it kind of was that. Yeah. But it was way more real. Like, yeah, I was going to say, it kind of was. It was it a little cheesy. We need, the movie needed that it at the end. It wasn't like, like, it was Hollywood cheesy. cheesy. It, it was, was cheesy, like but like. Parent to daughter cheesy. Yes. Which is. Which what you good. needed, what we what, needed. Yeah, well, After watching that everyone, shit in that scene in the car, you needed that. You needed something. I was like, please make, like, yeah. let this movie make me laugh again. Give this girl a bone. Like, give yeah. her something to be happy about. And it, it was like, it wasn't like it, that. It was raw. It was just honest. And yeah, it did, no, like he wasn't using too many what, cliches. He wasn't using too many like like commonplace right. phrases or anything like that. There it were just, cliches, but like used well. This yeah. entire um, movie is honest. The ending isn't is in a lot of these movies. Like Lady Bird has a very optimistic ending, which I feel like is if anything its weak point. Um, yeah, it feels unwarranted. Jovan doesn't like Lady Bird. He just ducked behind Why would the car. you? I, I burped, but thank you. Okay, for you so like one it. thing I have to point out is I was having a discussion in a film forum on Facebook the other day, and they oh. said black people don't like A24 movies. Jovan, hey. what did you hey. think of, of Lady hey. Bird? Jovan likes two A24 <laughs> movies. <laughs> I like three. Green I like Room? Three. Green Room, it comes at night. This. I'm sure there's others. I did did you like Sorry to three. Bother You? Mm, I three. Like shirt. Three. What? I like your shirt. But, um... Beast. Okay, so, but my... Goodness gracious. Um, and... I think, like, this This was really cool because, I mean, while I'm kind of more confident now and more coming now, um, in eighth grade, like, I didn't have a friend group. I had people I talked to sometimes. Yeah, but yeah I didn't have anybody outside I didn't of school. Get, I didn't yeah, get yeah. friends until I became... I, until I went to high school. Like, I mean, I, I was in eighth grade and I, I had, like, one friend on and off... Yeah, that, that you know we talk sometimes, but I was never like anyone's friend. I was always like someone that, else's that dude person that tags along. Sometimes. So this movie's gonna trigger memories and, of that guy, right? Yeah, so, this movie triggers so many memories. Right. Even if you weren't that kid, if you were like one of the you popular saw, kids who watched yeah. it happen, when I, it would be like, when oh I, shit, I knew when somebody. I, when like I went that. to high, when I went to high school, I gained friends, but like the, even the worst, in high school, I like I knew the other end of that. Th yeah, yeah, thing. yeah, yeah, yeah. The worst, the worst, like not me personally. One of the worst feeling scenes besides like obviously the almost sexual song and shit like that is the scene with the mom pulling up and inviting the uh, inviting uh, Kayla to yeah. the other girl's party. <laughs> Ooh, that is the worst hurt because I've been in that situation before. I've experienced that before. Yeah. I've experienced that you have to invite everyone. So what was that girl's name in the movie? Kennedy? Kennedy. Kennedy. Oh, Kennedy. But um, what I also liked is the way they shot the uh, one of the, the scenes at the very end, the graduation scene. She's walking towards, and she, she, she stares looked, at the ground. She, no, she looks like she's walking towards, towards the guy, towards and Aiden, goes to, and then she turns and goes to Kennedy, mm -hmm. which I'm like, thank you. That like, was nice. It, we, don't, I don't need to see her reconcile with this fucking douchebag creep. eighth grader who is just the, the worst. Creep. I, like, I, I, I like that they didn't go for like the like just the Disney Channel. Like she approached her and she's like, you know what? You're actually all right, and then they're okay. I'm glad they didn't do that. I'm glad. No, that I'm glad that the girl didn't admit defeat. Yeah. No, it's she like, just like. Okay, you know, and then they kept going. Like, you, know that, you know that as soon as she walked away, that girl was like... What was yeah, that? Okay. You're like, mm -hmm. yeah, look at this, look, look at this like, yeah. person. You know, look how awful she is. <laughs> look at that um, person. But, you know, like, that's what they thought. Like, you know, like, that. that's what she said after. Um, I'm happy that it wasn't. But, like, I'm happy that she didn't, like, like, like they said, admit defeat. It was so much better for her to be like... Like this was a win for Kayla. Like yeah. that, yes. that, it was for in her, her head. It, it was a yeah. win. It was yeah. It was that, something. That seems like the epitome of a lot of this movie. There were so many things that it subverted so many expectations. Like I think something's gonna happen, and then sometimes it does. Mm -hmm. but most of the time, it's. I like, thought they were gonna smoke else. weed at some. There was zero reference to out, marijuana yeah. in this movie. I thought movie, there was going to be, and I was very disappointed. <laughs> anyway, we're pushing fifteen okay. minutes, so, so let's go around. Um, number final thoughts on number grades. Final thoughts on number grade. It was the best movie I've seen this year. An incredible debut by Bo Burnham, which I expect. I'm very much done. looking forward to Bo Burnham. Oh, I cannot wait to see what he does next. Nine and a half out of ten. Okay. Um, I, lo I loved it. Uh, I'm more excited because, uh, I mean, I love a good coming-of-age movie. I'm more excited to see, I love as, a good as he come. said, <laughs> as he said, what Bo Burnham has to offer in the future. I feel like he has a lot of potential. Um, I love the kid who yells LeBron James every time a public figure is speaking at the school. Is that what he was yelling? Yeah, yeah. Le LeBron, LeBron James. Because <laughs> <laughs> because like that happened every day at my yeah. school. Um, but okay, uh, <laughs> final I'm grade. Saying. Final grade. Um, before I get my final grade, I need to preface something. Um, I grade things slightly differently than they do. So when I say like I'm being harsh on a movie, it's not actually me being harsh on a movie. For me, a five is average. So, 
a five is okay mm -hmm. instead of a five being bad. Um, but for me, this movie is an eight, like an eight, eight point five, depending. Um, I feel like it's an eight point five right now. I feel like it, I can't decide if it's gonna stay or go down a point five. But it's, it's around, it's in that mm -hmm. realm. And for me, that's what it is, right? With a seven being passing on mine. Actually, before I go to that, um, it's funny that you mentioned LeBron James, the legendary oh, no. player of the basketball game. And speaking of the game, you both just lost. Damn it. <laughs> anyway, my final thoughts and and uh, grade are. <laughs> Um, my final thoughts and grade, uh, this movie is a, an emotional triumph. I can't even put it another way aside from, I think I plagiarized someone else's review. But just know what you're seeing when you're going into it. Be prepared to feel a lot of emotions that you're not used to feeling in movies, and you will enjoy the shit out of this movie. I was curled up in my seats for some of it, but I enjoyed the shit out of it. 8.5 out of 10 for me. So, uh, until next time... Uh, I don't know what, what we'll be doing next time. I'm not sure when our next video will be up. But uh, like this video. Uh, subscribe to us because more of these will be on the way. Uh, solo videos from all of us. Oh, and uh, more to come. And we're going to keep on moving trying to improve these videos. We know how to end this video. Gucci. Gucci.